Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Went to Walmart, we ordered Walmart grocery pickup. I'm not saying we went because Lisa's son went, but I ordered, that's what I'm saying. Um, I wanted to show you that they have a huge back to school selection. I was able to list everything from under a dollar. So it can choose a selection of like all supplies under a dollar. So I pretty much did that. I think almost exclusively with everything that I got, but if it wasn't, I'll let you know. And you know, you know, I always put the prices here. So let's get started. It's all mixed together because I didn't organize it and too bad. So I picked up these color index cards. They are, uh, are they lined? Because one, one set wasn't lined. One set was, um, yes, these are lined. These are by pen and gear. You get a hundred three inch by five inch cards in pastel colors. And as you can see, they have light, like mint green, like a lavender, pink, and yellow. I picked up two pieces of fun foam sheets. These are nine by 12 black. Um, when you get the fun foam pack at the Dollar Tree, there's never black in there. And I figured with Halloween coming, um, I would pick those up. I will tell you they're a little worse for wear from like the delivery pickup, but sometimes that happens when they pack your stuff, even if you go into the Walmart. So um, that's not that's not a dig on Walmart. That is something that might just happen. I got an apple barrel paint in Snow White. This is just regular acrylic paint. This is like the 50 cent bottle. I know that paint has been slowly coming back to people's Walmarts after talking to you all. So just definitely check, check your grocery pickup, um, check your websites and stuff just before you go, save yourself some uh, time and a trip. Um, here's the other pack. You got a hundred, three and a half by five white index cards and they were heavyweight. You get a much bigger package if you just get white. That's more on par with what you get at the Dollar Tree. I picked up some sticky notes. This is just uh, one pay at 100 sheets, three by threes. I don't think they're the pop-up kind. I think they're just regular sticky notes and I got them in this blue. Now I ordered a couple of things that didn't have like a picture, like a, not a picture. They didn't have a color choice and I wasn't sure like, was I gonna get a choice or they just randomly picked their own colors, which was kind of cool. Either way that works for me. Okay, just gonna see if there's any other non-school supplies real quick. I know I got some like regular art supplies too. Okay. Oh my gosh, I swear there was like half the stuff they told me wasn't available anymore. Okay. Let me show you the last, like I only bought a few of like non school supplies. I found this really cute little wooden house. These pieces were like 77 cents, I think, but that's so cute. And I got this little tiny mama bear or papa bear. It's a bear, you choose. I've been wanting this piece for a while. It's this Mr. and Mrs. sign and the ampersand is like double layer. Um, I just like stuff like this for around my bedroom. And then I picked up four oval plaques. These were 97 cents, so you save three cents from the Dollar Tree. Um, but these don't have any hanger on them. Um, so what I wanted to do was to make like signs to distinguish. It's a project I found on Pinterest, like, I don't know, 45 years ago. No, I'm kidding, Pinterest isn't that old. It just seems that way. But it was sort of like um, this French country thing that I wanted to do, and hopefully I will, so. I picked up four of those. Now into the school supplies. Oh my goodness. So this is the time to pick up your rulers. Walmart has Fiskars rulers in all wood for 25 cents. They do have multiple holes, unlike the Dollar Tree's uh, wood rulers that you get for 50 cents, they only have one hole in them. But these also have like the pencil guide that is plastic and it pulls right out very, very easily. Um, but you got to get those for 
your DIYs. We picked up one pack of Crazy Arts colored pencils. Uh, this is in bright, vivid colors, non-toxic. They're just the like cheap brand of Crayola, but I picked up Crayola as well because we want to do a little bit of a comparison. So you get 12 colors, thick, strong leads. We got those. Also from Crazy Art, they had classic markers. These are the thin ones. Uh, fine line classic markers in the same 10 colors, I think. Actually, that was 12 colors. But you get like hot pink and purple. And then your basic primaries and secondary colors. Crazy Art also had a watercolor set. This is for me. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna try to get it open to show you guys. You guys know I watch Mary and Peter Fry. Mary loves to paint in watercolors and she just is inspiring for me to pull out some watercolors. So you get all of the rainbow colors plus black and brown. I'm surprised there isn't white there. I will be honest and truthful. I'll be honest and truthful. It's okay. You gotta still live your life, man. So I got a post-it note sticky note. This is one 90 count sheet, super sticky, three by three inch. This was a substituted item. I ordered like the pink cap eraser or white cap erasers and they gave us, they substituted pen and gears, pencil topper erasers, you get 25. I'm gonna put the price here of what I paid, but because it's a substituted item, they'll give you the cheapest price either in either direction. They usually up the quality um, and give you the old price. They had 10 classic Crayola broadline markers. This is like classic Crayola. I know it sounds dumb to say that, but that's what it is. It's just like the old fashioned markers we always had when we were teaching, because we didn't have these when we were growing up. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Every two years, at my when I was a nursery school teacher, we used to get this mega box from, and we would beg the teacher, can we get this brand new markers? We just need new markers. Um, so that's what I meant. But it comes in all of your primary, secondary, and black and brown. I believe that's right. Yeah. Um, they had some glue. Well, before I get to the glue, I got more. I got more writing implements to show you. Let's show you the writing implements. Then we'll show you the gluing implements. They had Bic in red. This is just Rollerball Medium Point Bic in red. I really don't remember ordering all of this, Lisa. This is so weird. I think I got someone else's bag. You didn't order any school supplies, right? No. All right. I got 12 of the Crayola pencils. This is pre-sharpened. The basic same 12 as the Crazy Art. But we'll do a test on the quality. See if there's a difference. This one has pink, this one does not. They're a little bit of different uh, choices, but we'll give them a shot anyway. And these, like these, are the Crayola Fine Lines. You get 10 markers. These are preferred by teachers, made with solar power. Oh, well, that's another reason only to buy it. I'm just saying. I only picked up one box of crayons because honestly I was I was shopping most of the stuff with Emily and I was like, well, I'll just give you whatever you need. And she's like, I don't need crayons. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I'll get a package to show the people I'll take them home. You get eight classic crayons, just regular Crayola eight pack, like you and I used to get when we were little. And then I got a pack of big blue rollerball pens. I feel like that had to be black, but unless one of that, they did, they did sell out of a lot of things. Of course that fell down, because why not? Why wouldn't that fall to the ground when I need it to be here with me? I 
got it. I picked up two glue sticks. Again, Emily did not need glue sticks, so I just got these to throw in my stash at home. These are just one of those things that like, if you don't use it a lot, it dries out and then it gets icky and then you can't use it anymore, but they're inexpensive enough. And this is Crayola's school washable glue sticks. These are the ones that write, not write, they're purple and then they disappear as they dry into clear. So I also picked up the Elmer's versus Crazy Arts washable school glue comparison. <laughs> this is four ounces of Crazy Arts washable school glue. And this is four ounces of Elmer's washable school glue. I said Crayola, but I meant Elmer's and we'll do a comparison for that. There wasn't that much of a price difference with the glue like there was with the pencils. I picked up two packs of number two pencils by Pen and Gear. It seems to be a Walmart brand in case you're curious. It does say Walmart on the back. You see that? Um, but you know, number two pencils, you can have number two pencils. Just, you can. I prefer, we do use most mechanical pencils in our house. Um, but to go with all of those pencils and colored pencils, I got a pencil sharpener. It's just a good thing to keep in your toolbox. You don't have to get up. This one has dual holes for fat and skinny. It's also good to keep in your makeup bag. Okay, now into the thing. Okay. Give me one second, because all of this is heavy and it's everywhere. Okay, that's ripped. Make sure all of them are in there. But it honestly might have ripped on the way into the house so let's see okay i'm just gonna do a little organizing here because i ordered like some of everything i don't know exactly what was substituted what was missing so forth and so on so I will show you what I got and then I'll write it down in the comments down there I'll tell you what was what so the first thing that I ordered that I received are five tab dividers by pen and gear insertable index tabs they letter size you get five eight and a half by eleven so they're basically just dividers and they're clear tabs when I was working, I preferred these, and I'll show you here in a second. This is five dividers in colored tabs. And I like these because these are entirely vinyl, like entirely plastic. These are PVC free. Wait, does that say PVC free? Yeah. So what are they made out of? Plastic. But these ones are like the traditional paper with the little white tab on. And I always felt like they always came off. Always, always lost my tabs. So I preferred the color ones instead. Plus, visually speaking. Okay. Everything's just gonna fall because I'm trying to do too much. Okay. I picked up two packs of loose leaf paper. You get 150 college ruled and 150 wide ruled. I recently hauled some little notebooks from the Dollar Tree, like three ring binders, and I realized I don't have any paper. So whatever she doesn't use, I'll just take home. Whatever she can't use, I should say. I'll just take home. They had all of these one subject um, and three subject, but I don't see any of the three subjects, so I'm guessing they were the ones that were sold out. They had all these one subject notebooks. Let me do a mini organizing. This is 70, 70, okay. They only had one in the wide ruled. So there's one in wide ruled. Um, you get 70 sheets and it's a spiral subject with the perforations, which is kind of important these days. I think a lot of schools want you to have that if you're gonna have a three ring. Oh, never mind. there's a whole bag of books on the floor. Sorry about that. Aha, they did have a three ring, a th 
three subject. Sorry. Okay. This is the Crazy Arts Super Washable Markers. The Crayola ones that we got, which are the Broadline, are not washable. These are. So I was like, okay. Their pigment might not be as bright, but I bet you they'll be much better for the little kids. And they're new. Comes out of your clothes. I'm just saying. This is the only three subject, three ring, not three ring. This is the only three subject spiral notebook that they had. It's wide ruled. Like they gave me a yellow cover. Um, the three subjects are divided with just like regular paper. Okay. Now here's all the one subject notebooks. I only got one in red in the wide ruled one subject notebooks and they have the perforated pages on the end, which is important. A lot of kids and schools require, that's what I started to say before. But I had four, this one's different. I'll show you them different. I had three of the college rule available. Um, one green, one purple, one yellow. And again, perforated edges, they're all 70 pages. Perforated edges, all 70 pages. Um, and then this is the only one that came like this. This is uh, one subject, 80 sheets, college ruled. It's got the plastic cover on it. That's the really the big difference between this. It has the, pl the polyvinyl cover. They also are perforated, even though it doesn't show it on the edge of the paper, of the, of the cover. Oh, goodness, goodness. They were out of uh, pencil erasers that I ordered. So they substituted these ones. These are by Paper Made by Pink Pearl. You get three Pink Pearl erasers. I think I had ordered five of the pen and, what's it called? Pen and gear um, erasers and they substituted three of those. And I knew I got black. <laughs> this is 10 black regular old fashioned Bic pencils. Pens. These are good for DIYs. You make those cute little flowers out of those kinds of pens because you can take them apart. Because you can take them apart. Okay. Let me organize these real quick. These were super inexpensive, in my opinion. I M H O, in my humble opinion. I love that they were careful enough to actually like get what I wanted, which is great. Not that, that sounds dumb, but really anybody could have just shoved whatever in the shopping cart, right? So I got two composition notebooks with plastic covers. One is in wide ruled, one is in college ruled. They're each 80 sheets, one's red and one's green. Hopefully that's some stuff we can use. We picked up and by we, I mean, again, they picked it out, I paid for it, and someone else picked it up. Two green college ruled composition notebooks and two black and white uh, college ruled composition notebooks. I don't know if you're even somebody who has kids or is interested, but college rule, there's just more lines per page if you're interested. The other one is just wider and gives you more space to write. Same size paper, just ruled differently. And then I picked up these. These are all the same pen and gear composition notebooks. We got red, orange, and two black and white ones. These are wide ruled. This is what Emily asked for specifically. So um, we got some stuff. Um, and then that's the last, absolutely 100% the last thing. So hopefully this helps you a lot with everything that's going on in the pandemic and the world. If you cannot get out and, you know, I don't know, I say Amazon might have higher prices on stuff, even if you have Prime. These 
supplies were so inexpensive. I just had to share them with you. I literally said to them when we were shopping yesterday, I'm just going to buy these things to share with the people because they're such a great deal. So I will show you how I purchased them in the little video in the beginning. Hopefully you got to see that. And let me show you here how easy it is to just order. Um, you just basically open up your app, do select your grocery pickup, go to school supplies, which they actually have, or back to school, they actually have a section. Then you can scroll through, select supplies under $1, and then just go to town. What I did was I sorted mine low to high so I can get all the low price items first. And that's it. I also will share with you, that I normally don't, the things that they were sold out of here at the store we went to um, in Sugar Land, Texas, okay? So that's everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I inspired you to think outside of where, oh my goodness, I, everything has to be at the Dollar Tree and be cheap. It's so not true. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing these school supplies that you could pick up at Walmart Grocery Pickup or at least try. The worst thing is they don't have it and then you have to get it from somewhere else. But if they do have it, it's a great way to save money. Okay? And don't forget, if you never use Walmart Grocery Pickup, there's a link in the description box down below where you'll get $10 off your first order of $50 or more. And I will get $10 off of my next subsequent order of $10 of $50 or more. But if you don't want to use that link and you have a friend or family that uses it, just use their link because I don't want you to just not get the ten dollars off okay so as always you guys take care god bless i'll see you next time bye So mean to my kitty. Don't go. Don't run away. Don't go. No, don't go. <laughs> What's she gonna do? <laughs> Her tail is like ring. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. My mind is telling me no. But my body. You got eye boogers. <laughs> you got eye boogers? Is that what you said? Is she 10 yet? No, not quite. She's nine this year.